Hi, welcome to Satoshi Radio, the place where you learn everything about Bitcoin. I'm Bart, and today we're going to mine Bitcoin with the Bitex Supra. The Bitex Supra is fully open source Bitcoin mining hardware. The core of the device is the BM1368 ASIC chip. It's the same chip used in the NMiner S21. This allows the Bitex to reach a hash rate of 0.6 terahash per second. The Supra's energy consumption is about 12 watts. To put these numbers in perspective, the Bitex's 0.6 terahash per second is a tiny fraction of the global Bitcoin mining power. As of July 2024, the total Bitcoin network hash rate is about 550 exahash per second. To achieve only 10% of this, you would need about 92 million bit axes. This number really shows the skill of industrial Bitcoin mining operations. Despite this, the bit axes low power consumption, about the same as a typical LED bulb, make it an excellent learning tool. And that is how you should see the bit axe as a hobby project. It looks cool and you will learn how mining works, but you won't make money with it. The chance of mining a block in your solo pool is extremely small. In this tutorial, we will also show you how to join a mining pool like Brains. In that case, you will earn an average of 40 sats per day. Right now, that's about two cents in Euro terms. The power consumption, however, is around seven cents per day at an electricity price of 25 cents per kilowatt hour. This means you will be mining at a loss of five, four cents per day. So you will mine with the Bidex because it's interesting not to make money. After starting the Bidex, a Wi-Fi network appears on the screen. To set up the Bidex, we need to connect to that network. You can do this via your phone or via your laptop. We are using the laptop. We open the Wi-Fi settings and then click on the Bidex Wi-Fi network. In our case, it's Bidex underscore 3699. Once connected, the Bidex settings menu automatically appears. Here we can select our own Wi-Fi network. To do this, we click on the menu symbol in the top left and then on settings. In this menu, we can also adjust the pool settings. We will come back to that later. First, let's set up the Wi-Fi properly. You do this by entering your Wi-Fi name in the Wi-Fi SSID. Then enter the password in the Wi-Fi password box. After entering the network and the password, we scroll down and click on save. To connect to the newly saved Wi-Fi network, we restart the BitX. The easiest way is to unplug the device and then plug it back in. If all goes well, you will see the BitX trying to connect to the network you just chose. You should quickly see the first statistics appear on your Bidex screen. One of those statistics is the IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.167. We enter this IP address in our browser to access the Bidex dashboard. This is the same dashboard where we set our Wi-Fi network earlier. At a first glance, we see a lot of information on this dashboard. We see the hash rate, the number of shares, the efficiency, and the best difficulty we've achieved. We also see the energy consumption and the temperature of the bid axe. We click on settings in the menu on the left. In the settings menu, we see the Wi-Fi settings we adjusted. Below that, we see which mining pool we're currently using. By default, the bid axe uses the publicpool.io. That's fine, as long as you change the Bitcoin wallet address of the user. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make your own public pool instance or use Brains. Before we move on and set up the pool, let's update the firmware on the Bidex. It's simple, on the dashboard we scroll down and we click on espminer.bin at the bottom. The firmware will now download. To install the firmware, we click on the Browse button. Click on the file you just downloaded and click on Open. 
the firmware will now uh, start installing. And after the firmware is installed, we click on restart. The BIDX will now reboot. If that doesn't work, you can just always unplug it and plug it back in. Here you can see the before and after. We've gone from version 2.1.3 to version 2.1.7. Success. Time to set up the pool. To use our own public pool, which is actually more a private pool if you think of it, because only we are going to use it, we first need to install this app on our Umbra node. To do this, we click on the App Store, in our Umbra node of course, and search for the public pool app. When you find it, click on it and then click on install. After the app is installed, you can open it. In the public pool app, we see a few things we need to copy. First, the URL. In my case, it's umbrel.local. If this doesn't work, you can also use the IP address of your umbrel node. Second, we copy the port, which is 2018. We create a username by combining the Bitcoin address where you want to receive the mine Bitcoin with the name of the Bitax. So you have a Bitcoin address dot name. I choose for Bitax, but you can choose anything. You can also, lastly, choose the password yourself. Just make sure that you store it. So with this information in mind, these four things, we go back to the Bitax settings menu. There we fill in the following. For the Stratum URL, we enter umbrel.local or the IP address of your Umbrel node. Secondly, for the Stratum port, we enter 2018. The Stratum user is the Bitcoin wallet address and the name of the worker. Finally, we enter the Stratum password. Save this password in the password manager and then when you filled in all four pieces of information, click on save. Your Bitex will now appear in the public pool dashboard. You can log in by entering the Bitcoin address you just used. And then you will see the extended dashboard, which looks a lot like the normal Bitex dashboard, in my opinion. If everything went well, you will see your Bitex appear here. And that's it. You're running your own mining pool. You're running your own mining pool. You're running your own miners. It's a whole mining operation you're running. And not on testnet. You can actually mine a Bitcoin block. Yeah, of course. The chance is extremely small that you mine one, but you, you can. And that's really cool. But some people also yeah, want to earn a little bit of sets because with this setup, you will probably never earn anything and you will still have to pay for the electricity. So you're mining at a loss always. So you can also choose to connect your Bitex to the Brains mining pool. The advantage of this is that you actually get Bitcoin. You will earn sats. So to do this, we go to the Brains website and log in. If you don't have an account yet, you will need to create one now. We click on workers in the menu on the left. Then we click on the button collect workers. A pop-up appears with the information we need. The URL is stratum.brains.com. The port is 3333, four times the number 3. And the user ID is blaka.workername for me. We can choose a worker name ourselves, just like with the public pool. I choose blaka.bitax. Finally, we see the password. We can choose that ourselves or just copy this one. Just make sure to save it or write it down somewhere. And just like with the public pool, we are going to enter this information in the bitax settings menu. So we are entering four things, the URL, the port, uh, the account name, the ID, and the password. After we filled in everything, we click on save and restart the bitax. After that, you will see the Bidex appear in the list of workers in your Brains dashboard. You can now also keep track of how many sets you will earn from mining. Currently, it's about 40 to 50 sets per day. The last thing I'm going to tell you is how to reset the Bidex. It's fairly simple. You go to the link that is now on the screen uh, or in the description and a web app will appear with a few options. We have the Bitex Supra, so we check that option. But if you have another Bitex, uh, like the Ultra, you choose that one. We now need to start the Bitex in boot mode. Hold down the boot button while plugging the power cable and the USB cable into the Bitex. If all goes well, a pop-up menu will appear um, on your computer screen where you can choose the USB port uh, to which you connected your Bitex. After this, uh, the reset will start automatically. When the process is finished, you will see the text self-test pass appear on the Bitaxis screen. 
You can then plug the BIDX back in and you will see that it's completely reset. And with that, we come to the end of this episode. The BIDX is a really cool device if you ask me, if you're interested in mining. If you want to make money, then you'd better look elsewhere. I mean, mining, even in this form, it's, it's just not profitable. You will mine uh, against the loss and it's fine. But if you want something that looks cool, that is a conversation starter and yeah, is a tool to learn about Bitcoin mining without breaking the bank, you should buy the Bitex. I'm really happy uh, with it. And yeah, I think it just really looks cool. I'm probably going to put it somewhere in the background here. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which topics uh, I should cover next. And uh, I, hope you <laughs> I hope to see you in the next uh, video. Thank you. See you later. Ciao.